Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the build. Um, I got the tank fully sanded. Um, I used the city strip to get the black off, and then I sanded the rest of the... I couldn't get the rest of the primer off, so I used a DA uh, 100 grit, 150 grit. Kept hammering on it. I got pretty much all of it out. Um, just a little pitted. Not a big deal. It's an old tank, and I believe that's old primer, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, so it's ready to be sprayed. I'm going to start with the primer, and I'm also working on a few other pieces in here. Um, got those cleaned out. I'm starting to use, I try to use this, uh, rust remover as much as I can sand it. I just thought I'd try something new and it came out pretty clean. I'm, I'm just rolling those over as they clean up every 12 hours or so. So I'm going to get some primer on this. Um, I was going to do brown, but I think I'm going to do black just cause I have it. Um, so I'll probably get two or three coats on this on the top and the bottom, hang it up and then, uh, we'll see how it comes out. So as you can see, I've been making some progress here. Um, I got everything primed for a good time. Engine cover, plate holder, number plates painted, pegs, and then here's the fuel tank. So for the primer, I didn't get on video, but just did three to four coats of uh, this Rust-Oleum here, and it's rust re reformer, just to help with the pitting and residue of the rust that was still in the tank and the number plate. But then I started spraying some silver. Um, let me show you that, which is this stuff. It's very glittery. I'm not sure if I want too metallic-y on this. Um, but it was metallic silver, so I just trusted it. So here's how the tank came out. There's a little imperfection there. I gotta fix that, but it looks really good. I just think it's kind of glittery for me, but if that's how it used to look, then I guess we'll send it. Um, there's a dent I didn't remove. I didn't remove uh, any dents in here, or patch them. I thought it looked good, but maybe I should remove that one because or just filled it in because it looks kind of bad. I still have time actually. I can still fill that up and spray right over it. But, and then here's the silver on the number plate. Try not to touch this too much so I can get the clear on there. It came out pretty nice. Um, got that all cleaned up and it's looking almost new again. Um, so this is still primer, the pegs, the plate, and this. I'm sp I should paint the silver. I'm just not there yet. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do black or silver. It's originally supposed to be silver, but we'll see. Um, so I'm going to get some, I'm going to do these gloss black or just shoot them with black paint and I'll clear them. So let me get those painted. All right, so I got everything painted up here. I got the engine cover painted, the license plate holder, pegs, the fuel tank, as you saw earlier. Um, I cleaned it up a little bit, had some imperfections, and uh, did another coat on that. Came out really good. And then the pole starter, I actually had um, filled this up with resin so I can get this sticker to lay nice and flat there. Um, and it used to look like this. It had like this big divot in here. So I wanted the sticker to lay flat. This wasn't really cutting it. Um, so fill that in, sticker will cover those little voids, and then the number plate looks perfect. I'm honestly really impressed with uh, how it came out with just a rattle can. So next I'm going to start clearing everything, and we'll see how that comes out. Okay, so I got everything cleared up. Got the tank cleared, number plate, engine cover, masked that off, and then I cleared right over the sticker. Cleared off the pull starter, and don't worry about that pitting. And then got that all gloss blacked, so it's coming out really good. And then I did uh, some tank sealer in there. Let's see if we can get it on camera. It's almost actually the same color as this paint, which is funny. It's this fuel tank sealer right there. Um, got it all sealed up in there for gas and corrosion. So it's looking really good so far. Now I'm going to, I'll probably start working on this tank, um, get the stickers on here and fin dress this up with the other sticker there and then get it installed. Looking great, got the number plate installed, the gas tank. That silver metallic looks really good with that gloss on there. I'm really happy with it. Um, I'll put the cap on once the sealer in here dries up in a couple days. But uh, for now, I'm really happy with it. 
Um, here's the old number plate that I made from scratch. I'm not going to reuse that. Maybe I'll sell it or toss it, but and I won't reuse that sticker. I'm actually going to put a number on there, a number I like. And next, I'll install the foot pegs, license plate holder, and assemble that as well. Bike's really coming together now. Got the pegs on, these covers are on, feeling good. Got the tank on, number plate, and the fender holder. So I actually just got the fenders out of the wrapping and they look stunning. Um, I just waxed them quick and then I'm gonna install them. So we'll get the hardware on there and get that together. Chrome fenders are installed. It's really making this bike pop. Uh, chrome was definitely worth it for the price. Might not do it again, but worth it this time. Um, got all the brackets installed. I put some rubber in there just to have a buffer. Same with this side, some rubber circles up in there. It looks not the best, but I can always trim that out. Um, and then the front fender looking really good. Got the clamps in there and some rubber in there as well. So that's gonna be it for this video. Um, next, I'm probably going to start working on the engine, get the engine on the bench, uh, clean it up, see what I need to replace and just refresh, and then uh, get the grips on and all that probably after the engine's in, once I put the uh, throttle cable in there and brake cable, and uh, get this bike finished up. All right, well, thanks for watching.